In this video, we're going to do some quick worked examples of basic questions on proportion. In the first question, we're told 8 pence costs 40p. We're asked how much it would cost to buy 3 pence. If we can find the cost of 1 pen, all we need to do is multiply our answer by 3. So if 8 pence costs 40p, we can work out the cost of 1 pen by doing 40 divided by 8. This is going to give me 5, so we can say 1 pen would be equal to 5p. So all we need to do at this stage is multiply 5p by 3. So 3 times by 5p is going to be equal to 15p. So it costs 15p for 3 pens. If we wanted, say, 5 pens, we would do 5 times by 5p, and that would give us 25p. If we wanted 9 pens, we would do 9 times by 5p, which is going to give us 45p. All we're doing is working out the cost of 1 pen and multiplying it up by the number that we need. In the second question, we're told the recipe below makes 12 cakes. We've got 300 grams of flour, 240 grams of sugar, 6 eggs, 360 grams of butter. We're asked how much of each ingredient would be needed to make 5 cakes. Now 5 isn't a nice number because it's not a factor of 12. If we had a factor of 12, let's say 6, let's say we were asked to make 6 cakes, I would just half all of these answers. If we were asked to make 4 cakes, I would divide all of these values by 3. If we were asked to make 3 cakes, I would divide all of these values by 4. If we were asked to make 2 cakes, I would divide them by 6. In the same way, if I was asked to make 24, I would double them. In this case, though, 5 isn't a factor of 12, so what I'm going to do is work out what each cake requires in terms of the ingredients. So if we now consider flour, what we're going to do is, for flour, we're going to have now 300 grams divided by 12. 300 divided by 12 is 25. So we need now 25 grams of flour per cake. So what we're going to have is 5 times by 25. And that's going to give us now 125 grams. So that's the flour. If we look at the sugar, we've got now 240 divided by 12. That's going to give me 20. So we need 20 grams of sugar per cake. So we're going to do now 5 times by 20. And that's going to give us now 100 grams. So that's the sugar. If we think about the eggs now, let's put E for eggs. We've got now 6 over 12. So with the eggs, we've got 6 over 12, which means we need one half of an egg per cake. So we're going to do 5 times by one half. 5 times by one half is going to give us two and a half eggs. If we now look at the butter, we've got 360 grams. So if we put this, butter, 360 divided by 12, that gives us 30. So what we need to do then is do 5 times by 30, and that's going to give us 150 grams. So we can see now that we need 125 grams of flour. We need now 100 grams of sugar. We need 2.5 eggs. And we need now, on the last one, we need 150 grams of butter. So they are the quantities that we require if we're going to be making 5 cakes.